How do I look? Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> yeah, it was an awesome environment. You know, the band is incredible. Uh, the fans showed out, and there were a ton of them there. And that was surprising for kind of like an opening game in my eyes. But I had a ton of fun. I mean, I'm proud of them uh, for coming out and having their first start. I thought they did well. Um, you know, you kind of have those jitters. I think I, I can't speak to how they were feeling, but I know how I felt when I got my first playing time. There were some jitters, and you kind of have to get in the flow of that as like a young guy getting your first start. And you know, once they got in the flow and they felt comfortable, and after those initial you know, jitters wore off. We played really well. No, <laughs> no, I didn't have any of this game. You talked about some of those younger guys as a whole for the offensive line. How do you feel you guys did ready? Um, I mean, I'm not sure how many rushing yards we ended up rushing for, but um, there's always yards that were left out there. Uh, there's always, there was a lot of plays that were one block away from being huge runs, and we just got to keep working on correcting those one, those one-offs. So, you got with what happened throughout camp with the illness and then Don missing some time? How much do you think you guys have actually had the first team together for any extended period of time? We haven't had a ton, but that gives a bunch of guys reps and working with each other and um, kind of just working through the communication, how some people see it and how other people see it. Um, so it's kind of an advantage. We it helped us build a ton of depth and a lot of chemistry with guys that you know, we might have not had the opportunity to play with. The flip side, I guess. Developing chemistry with a lot of guys. You've been playing college football at a high level for a long time. How, what's the value of getting five where you know what that chemistry is like? You know, especially with how long the season's going to be, it's not going to take five. It's going to take six, seven, maybe eight. Hopefully not eight, but it could. Um, so I think it's invaluable that we had those experiences together. Um, you know, the first five have to be able to do it, and the first six or seven have to be able to do it too. Seth, you mentioned being like one block away on some of those runs that could have been huge runs in your career. Like, how long does it take? For an offensive line to convert that and not be just one block away? Is it just kind of a randomness with every season, with every team? It's kind of randomness. We just have to keep going. And, um, you know, sometimes when you miss one block, it's kind of like, oh crap, I knew I was supposed to do that. Um, it's just a matter of doing it. I don't really know. Does it feel close, though? Yeah, I mean, the way the guys approach each day to prepare for the game, I think we're getting closer to that. And, you know, it's game one. We got, you know, a few good games to, you know, really work on that and iron out our technique and our chemistry. What it sounds like and it seems like, you know, watching you guys too, is it's a lot of coachable things and a lot of things that can be addressed in the film room rather than just guys getting beat. Mm -hmm. would you, is that how you would assess it as well? It's just guys. I mean, we're coached to do. We have the techniques, we have the toolbox to do it. It's just a matter of doing it. What's it like having Will be so evasive as a quarterback, just being able to escape the sack when he needs to make plays on the run as a, as a passer? What's that like having a quarterback? Like that? Yeah, it really helps. Um, it definitely helps the offensive line look better. Uh, when you got a guy that you know that's so experienced like that, being able to avoid the rush, as long as you're playing hard, uh, you have faith that the guys back there is not going to get sacked. So if you just keep blocking through the echo of the whistle, good things will happen for the O-line. you? How did you play? I think I played decently well for it being the first game, but there's the good thing is there's a ton of things to work on. Um, it's definitely not a finished project or product for any guy on the O-line, um, but there's definitely a ton to improve. You had no problems with the snaps. The one time you double clutched it, and you were upset with yourself for that, right? What happened on that play? Um, it was just a matter of uh, communication thing. Yeah. For you, how have you felt your command and leadership like expressed in that first game? Or are you where you want to be with that? And, and have, I guess coordinating the protections and everything. Um, from a leadership standpoint, I just I'm challenging myself to be the guy that somebody can emulate. I've had you know leaders in the past that'll just yell, 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 and yell. Say, hey, we got to go harder, go harder. But he's not the one going the hardest. So. Uh, I'm really just trying to put an emphasis on that for myself. Um, be the guy that people can emulate, and when I say something, I want it to mean something. So I have to put myself in the position to, to have that role. It was awesome. The, the skull session was awesome. Like, I walked in there, and I was just, 
you know, so grateful to be here. Like I started tearing up at like the how exciting everything was, and uh, it's a blessing to be here, and it's a blessing to be in this environment and seeing all the fans uh, walk into the stadium. It's it's incredible. It's definitely motivating. If a guy that's you know, I'm not sure how much he weighs, maybe 220, whatever. When a guy like that can do it, you know, hopefully guys that are 300 pounds can do it. Um, I didn't see it. I, they ran an internal stunt, and I was blocking the linebacker this way. All of a sudden, I hear yelling, and I was like, what the heck? Because he got up and started screaming. Um, but, you know, running backs that can be involved in protection like that, it's big. Um, you know, after three or four of those pops, those linebackers aren't going to be coming in and running, running down trying to get the quarterback. They're going to be like, oh, crap, where's the running back at? I've got to avoid him before I can get to the quarterback. Seth, thank you very much. Thank I appreciate y'all. Good job.